Hello, my marvellous sausages. It's the 17th of February, and Zur is here in the tower hangar with all his googlies hanging out for all the world to see. And he's got some very interesting stuff this week, and stuff that you should really consider purchasing. Come, let us look at his shenanigans. Not those sort. This is really important. The Queen Breaker's bow is the exotic that he's selling. Next season, so that's only in a week or two, this is going to become a lot better than it currently is. At the moment, it's got like a blinding effect uh, with its arc bolt, and you can change its zoom, which is a uh, kind of remaining. But what's also going to happen as well is that it's going to chain damage, and it's also going to do arc 3.0 blind which is excellent so if you haven't got this you must pick it up it's going to become incredibly useful next season now for the hunters we've got the young ahamkara spine how to clear my throat in the middle of saying that what have we got here for the stats 64 13 in resilience 19 in recovery mobility is dreadful but increases trip mine grenade duration and blast radius ability damage grants trip mine grenade energy and discipline is what we're looking for there and it's not too bad overall it's not a bad stat that is just a few things in the wrong place. If that recovery was in mobility, that would have been amazing. But it's not so tough. Uh, next, we've got the Eternal Warrior's Helmet for the Titans. Look at that implacable face. Good word, that. Gain an overshield when activating Fists of Havoc. Uh, what have we got here? Intellect 17, 64 overall. 12 in recovery, 11 in resilience, 17 in intellect. Not a... Well, you know, no. It's okay. It's okay. It's not totally standout. And finally, for the Warlocks, the Wings of Sacred Dawn. When Dawn Blade is equipped, aiming weapons while you're in midair suspends you there. Lovely. Let's have a quick look at the stats that we've got here for this baby. 61. So it's the lowest. Oh, it's all in the wrong place, really. Mobility 18. That's a shame. Nothing totally standout. But of course, it's better to buy it here than uh, pull a rubbish one out of collections if you haven't got one. Right then, weapon time. And there's loads and loads of good rolls here this week kicking off with this the Vulpecula and this is a hand cannon it's stasis as well which is very nice this has been given a B on light GG again very good and we've got explosive payload on it as well which is a really nice perk and helps you flinch people which is very very good we've got tunnel vision tactical mag flared magwell polygonal rifling and fluted barrel as well with a handling masterwork that is very nice indeed marvelous next we've got the escape velocity now, this one is even better. This is rated as an A. It's kinetic. We've got quick draw and we've got overflow. Ooh, nice. Accurized rounds, extended mag, model 8 red, model 6 loop. And there's a range masterwork on it as well. A, that is that is a very popular role when I say A. Loads of people keep it when it drops. Next, we've got another submachine gun. It's the Extraordinary Rendition. I used to use this loads. This role, however, isn't very popular, but it's not a bad role either. We've got Thresh, Surplus, Appended Mag, Tactical Mag, Hammerforge Rifling, and Extended Barrel, and there's a Stability Master on it as well. That's not bad at all, actually, there. Then we've got the Sojourner's Tail Shotgun. The only other place this drops in-game is uh, currently in Dares of Eternity, so if you're looking for one of these, this is a nice one to get as well. It's been given a B uh, in like GG for popularity. Dragonfly, Moving Target, Appended Mag, Steady Rounds, Hammerforce Riffling and Arrowhead Break. And what's that? A Reload Speed Masterwork as well. A nice little shotty. I'm not a shotty person, so I couldn't tell you if it's completely brilliant because I don't use them very much. Next, we've got the Punching Out, which looks like a, uh, what do you call it? A Chevrolet. Not a Chevrolet, a Cadillac. <laughs> yeah, let's have a look at this. we got Wellspring, Threat Detector, Encore, Armor Piercing Rounds, Extended Mag, Arrowhead Break, and we've got a Chambered Comp and potato as well. I believe it's a vanguard weapon, and I've reset my vanguard rank, which is why I've got double perks here. This has been given a C. C for completely average. What did I say that was? Uh, handling masterwork. There we go. There's that sidearm there. Now we've got, ooh, we've got the tarantula, which is, of course, is an arc fusion rifle, a linear fusion rifle. This is actually a really nice roll. What's it been given on GG? It's been given a B in popularity. Dragonfly. That's great on a linear fusion, isn't it? I like that. Don't see that that often. Genesis. Accelerated coils. Particle repeater. Smile bar is in the house. And also full bore in the house as well. And we've got a charge time masterwork on it. 
beautiful. And finally, we've got the third axiom. Again, another brilliant roll. This has been given an A. Excellent. Again, it's a Vanguard roll, so we've got the double perks. Uh, we've got Rampage. Oh, that's a nice perk. Feeding Frenzy, Zen Moment, Light Mag, Appended Mag, Extended Barrel, and Fluted Barrel as well. And what's that one? That's a Handling Masterwork too. A lovely array of killing implements this week. Armor-wise, we've got the Hold Fast set. Comes from Season of the Arrivals. Very nice for Transmog. Some pretty unique-looking helmets. Let's have a look at the stats. That is a great grenade build. Well, look at that 25 in Discipline. Uh, and Recovery's 15 as well. That's a pretty good set of gloves there for the Warlock. The chest piece is, well, 16 in strength, that's a melee. Hmm, recovery 7, not too good, although it's got quite high stats. 65 is a big bump. The helmet, which is crazy looking, look at the helmet. All the helmets are crazy looking for this. I do like it, though. Yes, it looks like a fly, but not. Uh, what have we got here? Uh, recovery is 16, intellect 14, resilience 14. Not too bad. And finally, for the boots, 24 in mobility. Oh, thanks a lot. Uh, nah, they're not really worth it at all. And for the titan set, 65 in the gloves, 16 in resilience. That is very good, actually. That's a nice set of gloves there. Chest piece is 62. 20 in discipline, another good grenade. And 16 as well. Very good for the Titans this week. Helmet is 63. Oh, look at that. <laughs> We've got a spike in exactly the wrong one. I mean, recovery is good, but we want in resilience, really. And there it is. Another beauty looking one there, yes. And the booties is a 61. 15 in recovery, 9 in resilience. Yeah, I suppose probably it's uh, the arms that are actually the best this week for the Titans. And the Hunter set. 57 on the arms, 60 in mobility. Ain't too bad in discipline. 62 better on the chest piece. Oh, and that's spiked in the right place. That's nice. 26 mobility there. Resilience and recovery is a bit poo, mind. Uh, what have we got for the helmet? Let's have a look at the helmet. You know what? That might be the best. Oh, look how odd it looks. That might be one of the best looking ones. I do like that. Uh, what have we got? 63 there as well. Okay, mobility, um, well... It's a nice spread. Mobility should be better, unfortunately. And 59 for the booties. Recovery, 17. Yeah, not too grand there. Hawkmoon this week has been given a C in popularity. We've got Smooth Grip, Eye of the Storm, Alloy Magazine, and Hammerforge Rifling as well. That's a C in popularity. And the Dead Man's Tail is a better role in regard to popularity. You can see why. We've got Hand Laid Socks. <laughs> Vorpal Weapon, Fled Magwell, and Smile Bar as well. That is given a B. That is very nice, yes. Now we're going to have a quick look at Banshee because there's one weapon that's changed its role and it's a lot better. We had the Typhon last time, which was an S role, which S tier, which was great. No longer, I'm afraid, but it's this one, the Snorri FR5 Fusion Rifle Precision Frame. Now what we're looking at here is an A grade, which is very, very good indeed because uh, we've got here Reservoir Burst, but the top perk to make this an S is High Impact Reserves. And then we've also gone for Firmly Planted here. That is the top perk in that column, according to popularity. Uh, the things that are letting it down are these two here. Ionized uh, Battery and Projection Fuse. The most popular perks there are Accelerated Coils and Enhanced Battery. And then we've got Corkscrew Rifling and Fluted Barrel. Corkscrew Rifling is the third most popular. The top is Arrowhead Break for Stability. And uh, Fluted Barrel, nobody really likes. But it does have a range masterwork as well so overall that is an excellent fusion for you nice now trials this week we've got the freelance node available as well and it's the capture the zone version of it as well which is very nice indeed and the adept weapon is the unwavering duty machine gun and the map is endless veil so only one more zero until lightfall i'm rather excited about that i can't wait to play the new mcgubbins and i've also got a rather humorous video out tomorrow as well i've picked the worst possible build I can find for my Warlock, and I'm going to try and beat a Master Loss Sector on it, and I'm also under-leveled. It's rather humorous. I'd advise you to come and have a look at it. That'll be dropping tomorrow on Saturday. In the meantime, if you like this vid, give me a like and subscribe. It'll be utterly fantastic, and I shall see you all again very soon. Sausage! Uh -huh.